I'm so excited um, and I'm so curious and I'm nervous and I have so many different emotions running through my body, but I am really looking forward to this right now. I'm just gonna kind of connect, see what we can bring through and we'll see where it takes us. So, um, okay. Okay, there's actually surprisingly quite a bit hitting me at once. Okay, so I think immediately I have a woman coming through who's coming through on, grand on mother's side of family, so the maternal side, the way this is kind of coming across. It was a reference to Lola or a connection to Lola. I don't know why that name is coming through, but there's a particular significance. In the Philippines, that's what everyone calls their grandma, oh, okay. Lola. It's like, oh, cool. It's like saying, hey, grandma, it's like, it's Lola. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. I'm just confused oh, because there's like two of them. Yes, and we're gonna get talk about that because there are there is a reference to two that I kind of want to discuss. There is a reference to a separation um, geographically. There's a reference to a teacher. So um, I'm just gonna ask you this: Do you know of anyone mm -hmm. who was like a teacher on mom's side that would have not been here? <laughs> yes. What's interesting with this particular thing is that whoever this female teacher was on this side taught more than just one thing. She's referencing to the fact that she took her job seriously in helping people. Mm -hmm. And there's a reference to the fact that I feel as though not only am I teaching them one thing, I'm teaching them two things. Does that make sense? I know who exactly you're okay. talking about. Give me the details on that one. Okay, so um, I don't know her because I never met her, but my mom's mom, my grandma, Right. Um, she was a PE teacher in the Philippines. Wow, okay. okay. She was a, I know she was a PE teacher dancer. Wow, yeah. awesome, very cool. Did you say your name was Cheryl, was it? Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L. OK. Do you need my last name? No, because there's a reference to Sherry. And that's, that's why I That's my mother. To, that's your mom. Oh, my <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> there's reference to the two S's. So we have the Sherry connection, but is there a male that's an S? That Steve. Would be Steve. Steve is my dad. And that would be dad. So there are two S's. Yes. OK. <laughs> um, OK, uh, I, I do have to talk to you about some career stuff. So this is interesting. I want to talk about studios. Now, this is coming through strongly. Ultimately, interested. I don't know what you do for a living. OK. Um, I, awesome. I love I this. Don't, you know, like, I, totally I'm always fine. embarrassed when I don't organize people. Totally I just don't watch like, TV or film. And, and, and this is why I actually love you even more. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Thank I love you. And this, this is amazing. It's oh, great. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. This might sound a little out there. Um, no, I love out there. OK. I'm out there. Just <laughs> go for it. There's a reference to Chicago, Illinois. Um, you can't make a change. Um, have you been to Chicago? I mean, I have been to Chicago. OK. Yeah. Um, She's going to audition for Chicago again. <laughs> so if there is an opportunity like um, that either takes you there or involves that on some level creatively, that's just good to keep in mind. OK. <laughs> but that's definitely going to pop okay. in a little bit. Wow, that's so crazy. I'm seeing an opportunity to do hosting. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is. This is in a TV aspect. It's not primarily what I see you being known for. I'm seeing you with a microphone in your hand mm -hmm. with someone else, mm -hmm. okay? So that's kind of coming through in that aspect, and that's a career opportunity that looks awesome. Truthfully, I really see a reference to a transition. We're getting, we have this, this, and this. Hosting, hosting, hosting. Have you had a career that was physically based at all? Physically. physically based, like physical movement, mobility. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's not forever because I see a transition ultimately into hosting, and that's just what's coming through. So dancing has been my whole life. Nice. Awesome. And I am going through the transition period now. Right. So I did Dancing with the Stars cool. for 10 years, wow. and I just made the decision a year ago that I was going to stop, and it was the hardest decision of my life. Sure like the hardest decision of my life. Right. And um, I felt like it was time for a change in my life and mm -hmm. I wanted to do something different. I danced since I was four years old and Dancing with the Stars was like a huge, like it was my family, it was something that I did, but it was, I did 18 seasons of it wow. and it was time to move on. Sure. Um, and I took a huge risk. Right. And I'm, so I'm going through that transition phase into hosting. As far as I would say overall career-wise, career's looking awesome. So I definitely see a lot of growth in a really great way, and I definitely see the hosting opportunities for you. So that's really gonna take off, and I definitely see 2016 as really being a strong time frame for that. He kind of comforted me, Tyler did, because he was like, you know what, you're gonna go through this transition period, and you're gonna grow, you know, I just have to trust my gut and trust my instinct and just go with it. Um, there's reference to Josh. Who? Uh, Josh. 
there's reference to a Josh. <laughs> Do you think it's there's reference to Josh? And there's reference to a J, and then I'm seeing the first initial of my name, which is a T. So I'm saying JT. There's a JT. Oh my God. Why? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I didn't know that would fit. Uh, yeah, he's my ex. Oh, okay. Those two people down there are probably dying right now. <laughs> Um, just like I am, my armpits just got really, really sweaty, <laughs> and so did other things under the pillow. <laughs> oh no! Okay, well we'll. Uh, no, go for it. We'll, we'll, Is it like, you it's not use bad. It? It's not okay. bad necessarily. Um, the only thing that's coming across intuitively is that I'm referencing to um, a relationship. I basically see this ending. Ultimately, I see this person being emotionally unavailable because they're with somebody else. <laughs> there might be some regret around the fact that that, yeah. that situation. Yeah, on his end. Yes, on his end, not yeah. on your end. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, hey, man, brother. Mm -hmm. On to the next. Exactly, the reason. I'm not going back to him, right? No, 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 to no, the no. Next. If anything, he'll yeah. regret that how that yeah, went. Yeah, I should not, won't. I need to move forward. Just yes. keep moving. Don't even return his emails or exactly. texts. Just yeah. keep moving forward. I would agree. Do you have any questions in general, anything? There is just one person who has passed away, and you kind of sure. mentioned it in the beginning, but you said there was like two, and I think you were getting there, and you, I think you were close. Okay, we'll see what we can do. I don't, I, yeah. So there is, I'm bringing through two women <laughs> who are coming through. So one's acknowledging on father's side of family, the other is the one that I think we're actually wanting to connect to. Mm -hmm. Both are coming through. Um, there's a reference to San Francisco or the Bay Area that's popping in. That's right. That's right. Okay, so that would be for you. Mm -hmm. There's just a, a specific memory of brushing the hair that I have to talk about, and it's it's a, it's, a, it's one that is is um, a sentimental memory that she has, and I don't know where that fits, but it's a very specific memory. Yeah, she would. She was my. Mom. I mean, she brushed my hair. She she cooked for me. She did everything for me. That's awesome. So, uh, that would uh, be my nanny. She. Um, has been, she was basically my mom. Um, she was there from the, literally from the day I was born. Uh, her name is Ima. Oh, oh nice, because she's definitely coming through. She has a very strong energy. Yeah. So she's one of the strongest that I'm connecting to. Um, she is talking about the fact that she has tried to come through to you before. Um, and she yeah, actually- I know, but I'm really freaked out. Understandably. So there was an incident where she woke you up in the middle of the night, and I, I just wanna let you know. No, no, it's okay. It was completely comforting, but she didn't wanna frighten you. But there was an incident where you woke up, and it was her who woke you up. <laughs> and that comes across. Ima, my nanny, do not freak me out. Like, I love you so much, but please, do not show me that you're around. I know you are with me, but you're gonna scare me, okay? So do not do it. Just referencing to the touching the hair. It's, it's interesting. You might feel as you're okay, I just got chills. Does that make any sense? <laughs> no, so but goes, uh, when did that happen? Well, she's definitely coming through. And so if you feel anyone touch your hair while you're asleep, just know that it's not anything unfortunate, scary or, or frightening, that that's just her way That's why I've been losing hair. <laughs> you know, that's I why think, I've been going bald. I think you're good. I think you're good, <laughs> but... So it's just her, though, right? Yeah, just her. It's you completely promise? fine. hundred percent at all. Are you sure? Because there's one person that has passed that is very negative. Sure. And well, that's what I'm really okay. freaked out about. Okay. Hmm. I have a man coming through that So you know, you can feel the energy. I can feel the energy, but your guides, your people on the other side are keeping him away. Yeah, but I'm gonna energy. describe to you, and the way this was coming across was that there was reference to the man who would have been like aggressive, I don't know, um, I don't know if he was a handyman or what the yeah, thing was. Yeah, he was. Um, I, that, that energy is there. I, mean, I, was just I mean, you can talk about it. I, I mean, I can just say, sure. look, I got sexually molested as a kid, right. and, it's that, and it's him. Right. Mm -hmm. And that comes through, it comes through specifically because he, he's not here at all, at all. So you have no, in this house, there's no connection, there's no, nothing. You're completely fine and completely safe, okay? Um, but I don't see anything to worry about that in the future at all, completely. Okay. It's really comforting knowing that there's no bad spirits or, um, you know, any dark presence here in this in this home. So you're completely safe. Okay. In the event that anyone were to wake you up at night, if you feel anyone yeah. come through, just know it's it's that motherly figure that comes through for you who is comforting and is yeah. there. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know. I do miss her a lot. Absolutely. But what I would say with this is that if there's anything you can take with you with this, is that know that anything around you, 
anything that I'm feeling, anything that I'm picking up on is completely at peace, completely fine, and coming through for you to watch over you in a protective manner. So anything that you feel around your house, it's all good. It's, it's you know, Hollywood is... I feel good is... vibes around the yes. house, but, you know, you still, like, of course. always have your one eye open. Absolutely. It's just nice to know that I'm going to be okay. So everything's gonna be fine. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're, you. The You're the best. You're the best time. Oh, Amazing. Thank you. Meeting Tyler just proves to me that I just, I've been right also this whole time, that I just have to follow my gut and trust my instincts and just take it one day at a time and everything's gonna be just fine. Of course, I have a lot of my readings that are insightful. There's also readings like this one that focus on heavy subjects and bringing closure and resolution and bringing in forgiveness and really heavy, life-changing experiences. And that's really the goal. That was so nuts. <laughs> right? I know, that part when they were talking about all the J's in your life, all the J guys. Dude. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. I remember when he was talking about your crank, said something about acting and then about Chicago. I was like, you, what, you don't want it? Foxy, <laughs> Foxy, Foxy, Foxy. Yeah. You don't remember auditioning for that show? I was like, oh yeah. my god. I'm not making this connection to Chicago. I totally right forgot. <laughs> I dated a Josh and I auditioned for Chicago on Broadway. What a dumb ass I am. He got everything right. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it.